Hello friends, welcome to Oracle Expert channel. Hope you are doing well. And uh, uh, today I will discuss about the recurring invoice. Okay, how to create recurring invoice in AP. Okay, so let's start. The first for the recurring invoice, okay. Uh, the first thing I want to explain the concept of the recurring invoice. Okay, why we need to create a recurring invoice? Okay, say for example, if you have a rental invoices, which same amount and uh, uh, for each month you have to generate the same invoice. Okay, so the doing like okay, create a manual invoice every month on the uh, on the invoice workbench okay so you can directly generate the invoices uh, for 12 months okay in the single attempt okay so this is a concept for the recurring invoice okay and uh, and it will save your time also like because 12 invoices will be generated in a like a, a single attempt okay so uh, first we will define okay we will define a calendar for the recurring invoice okay so navigation setup and calendar the special calendar okay so this special calendar is is defined only for the recurring invoice okay okay so i will give the name And periods per year want to say 12 and I will start Jan 16 to December 16 okay year sequence 1 from 1st Jan 18 not 16 to 31st Jan 16 okay I want to give the just period name okay because if you see the system name uh, it will concat it will concatenate period name and last two number of the year okay so so I just uh, okay give the period name again Feb March like this Feb strings 28 Feb 16 March yeah, so 2016 so the uh, month will be 29th by the 16th March First March, April, four, two different So I will enter for the 12 months from Jan 16 to December 16.
And you can also prepare the data loader also okay if you have like more than 10 months or like this thing so it will also save your time it's up to you okay okay so i have defined the 12 months okay so you can see the record 12 I will save okay so now the record is saved I will close this screen okay then the next step go to invoice entry and the recurring invoice okay and the supplier select the supplier for which you have to create the recurring invoice for example auto house okay and calendar here I have to give my calendar name which I have to find recurring care okay this is my calendar number of periods I will give 12 first period I will start from Jan 16 Okay, so first Jan 16, the period is remaining 12. Okay, so I will give the recurring invoice number. Okay, so for example, Rick INV. Okay, because once the invoice is created. On the invoice workbench so the invoice number like you can see the prefix rick invoice okay then it will add the period name also okay for the each invoice okay so we will see okay how it will work and this liability account it's again default from the uh, supply level okay line level distribution set we will link the distribution set for generate the expense account say for example for rent expense full okay amount I want to say 1000 usd for one invoice so it will be multiplied by 12 so the control total amount will be 12000 okay so first amount means which is like uh, uh, monthly monthly amount don't have any tax control payment okay so here you can decide uh, which terms you want to add pay group all these things okay so now the number of invoices okay so if I give five number suppose I want to create only five invoices so the system will create Jan to June 16 okay Jan, Feb, March, April, May sorry till May okay it will create invoices okay if I give till 12 so it will create the 12 invoices for all the periods Jan 16 to December 16 okay so let's see we will see the example suppose first i want to give five create recurring invoice and you can only give the numbers okay the total periods is remaining 
okay suppose i'm creating for the 12 months okay but if i give the 13 number of invoices 13 okay system will throw the error okay because you cannot generate the 13 invoices because your period is created for the only 12 months okay so that's why and you have also given the number of periods 12 see this is an invoice number okay which i explained you before rack invoice dash period name okay so i want to create let's give 13 now system system will display the error the number you enter is greater than the number of periods remaining okay so it means we have to give only 12 now again the create recurring invoice so you can see like till December 16 okay you can see all the invoice number okay for now final confirmation we have to click on ok okay so now the invoice is created okay you can see periods remaining is zero it means there's no pending invoice no pending recurring invoice okay which you have to create okay the all invoice whatever we have given the number of the periods the system is created from jan 16 to december 16 okay so now we will check the invoice on the invoice workbench, uh, workbench window okay I will copy this number, invoice number. If I don't know the exact invoice number, so I will copy this invoice number and will go to the invoice. Okay, and click on the torch button. Enter the invoice number and percentage and find it. So you can see the 12 invoices. just make sure okay before starting the recurring invoice you have to do two setup first a special calendar okay you have to define the special calendar okay and the second you have to create the uh, distribution set okay these two things okay you have to create so now you can see the invoice number is all the invoice number can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 see okay. all 12 numbers is created for different different gld which one the and invoice amount is 7000 okay okay so thanks for watching the video and if you like my video so please click on the like button and just subscribe my channel and uh, i will upload the some others new videos okay with the new business scenario and uh, with uh, new functionality okay so see you in the next video thank you bye bye